Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city All right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. Come on, Sam. It's starting to attract attention. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you caring? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! Hey! I said get the fuck out! Fast! Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets and light off. Go cover to cover until you reach the... I'm there. No, man. Hang on. I don't like being Tapping out Tapping into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you huh? and blow out those lights. You think of that? Yeah. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. 
Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it. Because I can see it. Maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now. Okay? He's going to shut the door and come back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Not bad for a douchebag who won't come out. Jesus! Come on, show yourself, fuckface! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Hey, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we can wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now you're talking. Check out on me. Yeah. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Yeah, well, who's got the bills on this one? Tobin. Oh, man. Why we gotta keep working for this guy? He's my... <laughs> I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? No. Nah, Shit. Uh, this Fisher guy's smart. Probably ran out the back entrance to the market and left us here with our thumbs up our asses. Cover me, you assholes! Bucks for the guy who kills fish. Okay, guys, let's do it now. Take him down. Is that it, Fisher? You gotta kill him. A thousand bucks for the guy who kills fish. You gotta kill him. Screw this. I'm out of here. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Okay, enough. You wanna know, send me? It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. <coughs> he drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, Heard you were coming, so he hired me to to kill you before you killed him. 
You should refund his money. Where do I find him? I can't... <laughs> 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 In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Colvin's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Colvin was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in, no matter what. I didn't see. You should... The hit on Fisher at the market. I guess it's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds Coben wants? We need some like candy, man. Probably wants a new flavor. No, I mean the list. Right. We wrote it all down right on, on the side of a freaking ammo. Fuck! About Holy shit! You went He's inside! Fisher's here! Come open! Go, go, go! I'll find you and I'll kill you, Fisher. You'll be our new piece of art. Fuck. There, there. You want some? 
Fisher, motherfucker! Go! Coven had you all wrong, Fisher! Sometimes, you just have to do things the hard way. Boss, what do you 
What if it comes through the window? Then you shoot him! What kind of fucking stupid question is that? I'll get this straight. I'll Nobody's take going it. going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. What are you waiting for? Fucking kill him! Die, oh, you shit. bastard! Die! You're not bulletproof, are you? I'm gonna blow your brains out! Shit! Fuck! You see that? Shit! He's there! Something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job! They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you! I'm still working for them! They'll gut me if I tell you! They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Oh. Oh. Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Ah. Grab it, Fisher! Grab it now! You won't be hurt! Sam, you need it. to go with them. The hell I do. Please. You have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move. Hands in the That's air, it, Fisher. Don't let nice and easy. Man, this is Ghost Hawk One. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup. I'll be happy when we drop off sneaking you here. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, 
I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar. Take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up with Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel is at three, man. Colonel Prentice. Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to 3rd Echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coben. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to, to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside Third Echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta. And Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into him. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere. And the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly. But what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah, and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. Dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay. I okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. 
My car is just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Homicidal badass, and then turned him into a whole new level of killing machine. And then they brought him.